Introduction to Bloomberg Law Hello, I am Dr. Joel Fishman, Assistant Director for Lawyer Services, and this presentation will review Bloomberg Law when you have citations available to you. We will begin with case law research. Go to the Law Library website www.duq.edu backslash law backslash library. Click on the Legal Research Databases on the left column. Scroll down to Bloomberg Law and click on Bloomberg Law. On the Bloomberg Law homepage, type in your username and password and then click on the Sign In tab. On top of the page are tabs for Search and Browse, Practice Centers, Litigation and Dockets, Transactional Law, Legislative and Regulatory, Legal Analysis and News, and Companies and Markets. We will look at the contents under these tabs to be presented in the next presentation. In the search box, type in the citation 248 space n period y period space 339. The citation will then obtain the case of Paul's Graph versus Long Island Railroad Company, along with the citation that you typed in, which is an official report cited as 248 New York, page 339, and then the unofficial reporter known as 162 Northeastern Reporter, page 99. This is known as the parallel citation, the same case reported in two different books. The year of the decision is given as 1928. The actual date decided is given below as May 29, 1928. Note the case has been reversed by the higher court at 222 Appellate Division 166. Click on the majority opinion or dissenting opinion to view those parts of the opinion. Also note that the cites to pages in the New York Reports and Northeastern Reporter are shown by the number of asterisks in the pagination box. In order to read the cases that are cited in the text of the opinion, which is also known as the Table of Authorities, click on the hyperlink of the case. One of the major features of an online system is to provide the information about a case using a citator which will provide the direct history and treatment of the case when you type in a citation. In Bloomberg Law the citator is called B-Law. B-Law information appears as tabs above the text of the case. Direct history, case analysis, table of authorities, citing documents, or click on the tabs under B site analysis on the right side of the page. For now, I will click on the tabs above the text. Click on the direct history tab to view the history of the case. Click on the case analysis tab. Sort on the drop-down box lets you choose by date newest, citation frequency, case analysis, and court. The left column contains the citing case analysis summary of the decisions. Each case of the treatment of the case is given before the name of the case in a box. The depth shows the four levels of discussion on the case under review. Click on the extracts to see the paragraph where the case can be found in the case. Click on the Table of Authorities tab to obtain a list of the cases cited in the Paul's Graph case with citations to designate whether the older cases are still good law and boxes for the amounts of discussion in the case. Click on the Citing Documents tab. Observe on the left column, the citing references are broken down into content type, such as court opinions, court dockets, 
law reviews and journals, and other subjects. Click on the law reviews and journals to see a list of the periodicals available. Click on the books and treatises to see a list of the books that are available. Below the case names are tabs for quick print, print download, email, workspace, and queue for the documents that you are looking at. Click on the print download. After selecting the print download, note that you can print the opinion only or select additional content options. Formatting options are available to you as well. Click on the green print download button and follow additional instructions. You can select email and document options to send this file to yourself so that you can store the copy for later use on your own computer. Click on Workspace to add this case to your online search materials. Create useful workspace names and descriptions to quickly locate your work for different research projects and classes. Click on Q on the right side of the screen to see searches completed during this session. The top menu bar offers overall user settings. Click on Workspaces to save the document by clicking on the Save button. Click on Research Trail tab to see what research you have completed over the previous sessions. Click on the Downloads tab to see what research has been saved. Note Status and File Format sections. Click on the Save Searches and Alert tab to see what alert subscriptions have been made. Click on the Management tab to create an alert and choose from the type of document you wish to receive. Click on the Settings to mark your Receive Email Notification and select Updates to be part of the email notification. We will next look at statutory law and Bloomberg Law. In the search box, type MINN period space STAT period space 117.195 and click on the citation search and then the go button to open. To see the currentness of the legislative session, see Currency section on the right column. Click on Chapter 117, Eminent Domain, to provide the table of contents for the title. Across the top are your tabs for Quick Print, Print Download, Email, Workspace, and Q. Click on the Print to Print Download tab to print a document. To print just the document, uncheck all of the boxes to print just the statute. Select the Format options before clicking on the green Print Download button. Introduction to Law Reviews In the search box, Type 127 space HARV period space L period space REV period space 1419 and click on the search button to retrieve the law review in a PDF format. You can click on the open PDF in new window to read the article without the software menus. This is the end of this presentation. Our next series of slide presentations will deal with advanced searching techniques in the three databases.